Hey guys, before this video starts, I just want to point out you can actually become a member if you click the join button next to subscribe or in the description you can click to become a member as well because if you become a member, we are ramping up our production of these comic issues now. So if you join at least the lowest tier, which is $2.99, you get a bunch of bonuses, but you also get early access to upcoming comic issues. Now you don't have to choose the lowest tier, you can choose whatever one you can afford, but even if you choose the lowest one, you'll get early access accessed by at least several days to each upcoming issue before it's fully public for everyone. You'll also get your name added in the end credits of every issue so long as we're producing it at the time you are a member. So at the time this video goes live, if you are a member, you can already check out the next comic issue. But with that said, hope you guys enjoy the video. The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 27. Bring back my goblin to me. Just as the mysterious crime master prepares to take command over the city's gangs, a startling interruption takes place as the gloating green goblin brings in an unconscious prisoner. I warned you that I'd never let anyone else take over as gang lord of the city. Even the Crime Master shall serve the Green Goblin. The Goblin, with Spider-Man, still alive. But I thought I had killed him. Some of you men, get up here. I caught Spider-Man. Now see if you can hold him. Imagine the Goblin being Spider-Man. Hey, what gives? This blasted mask won't come off. Forget it. We'll worry about that later. First, get him chained up before he comes to. Too bad, my devil-crossing friend. This will knock your plans to get control of the mobs into a cocked hat. Don't bet on it, Goblin. I'm not licked yet. Oh no? Tell him how wrong he is, my new underlings. We're taking orders from the Goblin and no one else. Anyone who can capture Spider-Man can boss me around any day. It lost, Masked Man. You're a has-been around here. And as the mobsters shout, none pay any attention to one among them known as Patch, the police informer we met last issue. Now that we picked our new boss, let's finish off that webhead. Looks bad for Spider-Man, unless the police show up soon. I wonder if they got my tip. Bring him over here. We'll celebrate my new reign by unmasking him and then finishing him off for good. Just in time, Goblin. He's waking up. But we got nothing to worry about long as he's chained good and tight. The gas which knocked me out is finally wearing off. But from the looks of things around here, I was better off asleep. Never forget who it was that delivered a beaten Spider-Man to you, boys. And now, let's get his mask off. Stop squirming, punk. You're beat, and you know it. Watch it, Blackie. He's bracing himself. Oof, you fools. Can't you even hold on to a man in chains? Ah, uh, don't be too rough on them, Gobby. Even chains can't take away my ever-loving spider strength. You can't escape now. All you're doing is delaying the final. Look out! That's what I was hoping for. You clumsy bungler. Watch what you're doing. Your shot almost hit me. And you almost got me with those blamed goblin blasts of yours. In the meantime, Spider-Man dodged us both. There are too many of them. They'll get me sooner or later unless I get lucky. And the way my luck's been running lately, someone would think I spend all my time walking under ladders and breaking mirrors. I feel some slack in the chains. With my spider strength, I might be able to snap them, but they're not giving me a chance. Don't you boys ever take five for a coffee break or anything? We're hitting them with everything we got, and he keeps jawing at us. It's downright humiliating. 
But then, the stroke of luck Spidey had hoped for, but had it dared to expect, actually happens. Three of the police officers who had been stationed outside, hearing the sounds of battle, come charging in. Stay where you are! You're all under arrest! Are you guys kidding? There's only three of you. We're enough for the likes of you. There's dozens of them, Sam, all around us. We can't even make it back to the call box. Keep fighting. They can't use their guns at such close quarters. We'll get the upper hand somehow. And that brief interruption by the three brave officers is all the diversion Spidey needs. Hey! Come back, you guys! We can't hold Spider-Man by ourselves! Look out! He's shaking us off him like fleas! A very apt description, playmate. And now that I'm in the clear for a few seconds, I'll use the opportunity to expand my chest, flex my muscles, and... Presto! I feel like Steve Reeves in one of those Italian costume movies. Blast it! If I ever find out who tipped off the cops... Uh-oh, Spider-Man's free again! He's fully recovered! Dodged my goblin bomb! I'll lose myself in the crowd for a while! Oops, I was gonna go after the goblin, but I'd better not. The Crime Master's still gunning for me. He must figure this is his chance to grab control of the mobs again. Those officers are putting up a great fight against the hoods down there, but they can still use some help. And they're gonna get it as soon as I set up my automatic camera. I might as well make this little session pay off for me. And now, ready or not, here I come. Heads up, playmates. Mind if I crash your little party? I'm just in time. Their backs are against the wall. Is this a private fight, or can your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man join the fun? Hold it, you three. You'll have to wait your turn. You know the rules. If you try to strike from behind, you each get two demerits. Hey, what the? My feet are stuck. I can't move. How about that? We've got Spider-Man helping us out. You don't hear me complaining, Dave. How did it happen? One minute, everything was great. Then, zowie, the roof falls in. <laughs> nice going, boys. But leave some of them for me, huh? Although, I kind of hate to take sloppy seconds. Dread it! My webbing's coming loose. My costume's starting to slip. But I can't stop to fix it now. Playtime isn't over yet. Sorry, boys. I'll have to cut this short now. But it's been fun waltzing around with you. A goblin. I wondered where you were. He's too dangerous. I was better off down below. But, as Spidey drops back to the floor below with the speed of thought, he sees... Looks like the Crime Master just never gives up. But he can't hit me if I keep the crowd between us. And that's just what I'll do. Then, a few brief minutes later... We give up. We had it. We can't fight you cops and Spider-Man. Naturally, you punk. You only outnumbered us ten to one. Every good general knows when the time comes to retreat. And not a second too soon. He almost snared me with that sticky webbing of his. I can't hope to catch the goblin's jet flyer, but any self-respecting Spider-Man ought to be able to call her the Crime Master. I was double-crossed by the goblin, by my own mobs, and now even Spider-Man is after me. But I know this waterfront area better than anyone. If I can keep him at bay for another few minutes, I may yet escape. Minutes later... Patch sneaked out and sent for us, but it looks as though you three had the situation well in hand. It was some workout, Joe. Too bad you had to miss it. We got him all lined up for you, boys. And when you hear about Spider-Man, he's a real one-man army. And, as the police finished their mopping up operation, the one-man army continues with his own private little war. Why can't I lose him? He can't know this underground area as well as I do. He's tricky, but he doesn't realize he can't outrun my spider sense. That was a close one. He's definitely no candidate for the Spider-Man fan club. 
every time he gets within pistol range, that blasted webbing of his shoots out and spoils my aim. But I'll get him yet. I've got to keep moving. That Joker's too much of a dead-eyed dick to take any chances with. And bullets have no way of knowing which of us is the good guy. He's not following. Good. I must have given him the slip. Once I go through the pipe over there, he'll never find me again. And if he does, it'll be his bad luck. Hmm. He must think that he's lost me. I guess you forgot that us professional Spider-Man can hide on walls and ceilings. Well, where he goes, Spidey will go with. I'm almost through, but I'd better play it safe, just in case he is following somewhere behind me. Even if he is hidden beyond the curve of this pipe, this nerve gas will find him and rid me of him forever. Just as it'll do to the goblin when next we meet. And a short distance behind. Uh-oh, gas fumes. Looks like I underestimated that masked murderer. But if I move fast enough, I'll be able to fashion a protective helmet out of my webbing. Like this. It may not win first prize at a fashion show, but if I hold my breath, it'll help me to make it through the gas. Phew. I hope it's not much further. Although I'd never admit it to my enemies, I can't hold my breath forever. Ah, that looks like a grating just ahead. Well, what do you know? I'm smack dab in the center of the city's sewer system. A perfect place for a rat like the Crime Master. But he could have fled in any one of a dozen directions. And all the onrushing water is too much for my spider sense to cope with. Looks like I lost him. Minutes later. This may not do much for a rep as a glamour boy, but it's one way to get back to the surface. I'll just dash back to the pier and see if anything happened since I left. Perhaps I can learn more about the crime master there. I'm too late. They're good the last of the police cars now. Oh well, at least I helped one of the biggest mass arrests in years. But I still have to get a line on the goblin and the crime master. And I still think Frederick Foswell is the key. I'll just pay a little visit to his place and see if he's there. Every trail I followed, every clue, every lead, all seem to point to Foswell. I'm convinced he's mixed up in all this somehow. His apartment's deserted, but he was here before me. His hat was on the floor last time, and now it's gone. He must have come here, changed, and gone right out again. And here's my spider pen tracing Gizmo. I dropped it when I was shot at, so now I can't track him down. Well, while I'm here, I might as well look around. Then, after an intensive search... Hmm, a closet with a false compartment. It's empty now, but it's a perfect place to hide a goblin costume or a crime master mask. He's got to be one of them. But, as Spidey leaves again... I'll rush to Jonah's office. Maybe I'll find Foswell there. Bah, another second and I'd have had him. I was afraid of this. Foswell's not at his desk. Looks like I've reached a dead end. Well, even if he isn't the man I'd most like to be stranded on a desert isle with, I think I'll warn Jonah about Foswell. Another crime spree by Foswell could ruin Jameson and the paper. Yo! Don't make another move! All I have to do is press an alarm button and... Relax, you old skinflint. I'm here to help you. I want to warn you about Frederick Foswell. I'm sure he's either the Green Goblin or the Crime Master. Yo, helping me? I'll believe that when I hear a dog meow. As for Foswell, you're dead wrong as usual. He's working on a series of crime articles for me. What proof do you have that he's gone crooked again? No proof yet, but I know he's mixed up in this business somehow. Sure he is. As a reporter, for me. Miss Brandt, send Foswell in here as soon as he returns. He just entered now, sir. I'll tell him. That reminds me, 
I haven't had time to call Betty Brandt for days. I wonder if she's angry. Boswell, that web-headed idiot claims you've turned to crime again. He says you're either the goblin or the crime master. Not me, Mr. Jameson. You know I'm too smart to take a chance of becoming a two-time loser. What does that prove? Even if he was crooked, he wouldn't admit it. Where have you been keeping yourself when you're not at work and not at home, Foswell? Look, do I have to answer questions from him, Mr. Jameson? Of course not. Now get back to work. I trust you. But before Foswell can leave Jonah's office, an unexpected tableau is about to transpire on the roof across the way. There are Spider-Man, Jameson, and Foswell all together in one office. What a perfect opportunity for me to have my revenge. I'll pick all three of them off from here. Don't do it, mister. We've got you covered. Turn around. Real slow. Police? Who tipped them off? I... I can't let them take me. Listen. Gunfire. Coming from the roof across the way. I wonder what that's all about. I can tell you, it's the end of the Crime Master. How would you know that, Foswell? I told you, he's been working on a big crime story for me. You'll learn about it when everyone else does, Spider-Man. The shooting stopped. Whoever the police were firing at, it looks like they got him. I knew the Crime Master wouldn't give up without making a fight of it. The fool. I hope he's alive and able to talk. Looks like he's done for. He's sinking fast. He's the one we thought he was. Anything you want to tell us while well, you can? You bet there is. I'll have the last laugh yet. <laughs> if I cash in, I'll take the goblin with me. <laughs> his... His... Real identity... Is... <coughs> is... Boy, if I saw that happen in a mystery movie, I'd laugh at how corny it was. And yet... A rotten break for us. He's dead. He never got the name out. Minutes later... Mr. Jameson, this officer insisted on seeing you. Not him, lady. I want to see Foswell. Foswell doesn't look worried. I wonder what he knows that I don't. You were right about the Crime Master's identity. I just wanted to thank you for your help. That's okay. I was glad to do it. How did you help the police, Foswell? I feel like a fella who came in at the middle of a spy picture and never caught up to the plot. When I was known as the big man, before I went straight, I knew all the city's gang leaders, and I knew how they worked. Using that knowledge in my own underworld grapevine, it wasn't hard to figure out which racket boss was the crime master. All I had to do was find proof. Nick Lucky Lewis! It's kind of funny. In real life, when a villain is unmasked, he isn't always the butler or the one you suspected. Sometimes he's a man you didn't even know. He knew I was a threat to him. He even shot at someone in my room, thinking it was me. I was that someone, so it was Crime Master who shot at me, not Foswell. I acted as bait to help the police trap Lucky Lewis. Looks like I was mistaken about you, Foswell. Forget it, Spider-Man. There's no harm done. But I still have a feeling he's hiding something. He's clever and tricky, just like the Green Goblin. Let's forget Foswell now. Here's your chance to arrest Spider-Man. Do your duty, officer. Throw that public menace behind bars. I'll help you. How, Jonah? By talking me into jail? Well, I don't know, Mr. Jameson. He helped us round up the Crime Master's gang. I've no orders for his arrest. All right, then. Don't arrest him. I'll handle him my way. I'll splash Foswell's victory all over the front page. 
I'll show how wrong Spider-Man was about him. I'll make a laughing stock out of that webhead. Don't you ever get tired of the same old song, Chuckles? Uh-oh, my camera. I'd better go back and get it, and get those pictures developed. Go on, jump out of my window again. But this time, I hope your blasted webbing snaps in two. Ah, uh, go juggle beehives, prune face. Rats, my costume's coming loose again, and I can't spare enough web fluid to hold it together. I'll just keep tugging at it. I can't afford to lose it. It's the only one I've got left. Here's where I left the camera. Glad I remembered. I couldn't afford to buy a new one. I'll leap up to the wood, like a Spider-Man should. Uh-oh, I've been watching too many commercials. Oh no! It's gone! It must have fallen down. But if it did, someone picked it up. It's not here. But who? My spider sense is tingling. There's someone else here. I'll duck under the pier until I see what's going on. Nuts! I tripped over a rotting plank. Sometimes I wonder if this superhero business is really for me. But a few wet, soppy, sloppy seconds later... It was just a bunch of kids. They've got my camera. Okay, troops. Fork over my camera. Thanks a heap. Gosh, we didn't know it was yours. We couldn't figure out how it worked anyway. Well, what are you staring at? Didn't you ever see a soaking wet Spider-Man before? I hope you don't want my autograph. The way my luck's been running, I'd probably stick myself with a pencil point and end up with blood poisoning. I haven't the heart to tell him we're Human Torch fans anyway. Then, as Spidey heads for home in his somewhat unique manner. Oh well, there's nothing more that can happen to... Oh no! This is the last straw! Since I got it wet, this crummy store-bought costume is beginning to shrink on me. I might as well get out of it while I can. Youch! It feels like I'm pulling off half of my scalp with it. That's the last time I ever buy a costume at a rummage sale. Then, after making a quick change... But I think I'll take it along with me. I may just be able to find a use for it. And so, a short time later in Peter Parker's cellar dark room. This'll be a good time to pick out the best pictures to sell to Jonah Jameson, while Aunt May isn't in. Hmm, let's see now. But, come to think of it, why should I always sell a no-good Nick like him my best picks? I think I'll try another newspaper this time. Thus, we next find Pete at the offices of the Daily Globe. Copy boy, bring this article on the MMMS to the feature editor. Step on it. Who's in charge of buying news photos, ma'am? Mr. Bushkin, our picture editor. Right through that door. And so... These are terrific, son. How'd you manage to get pictures of that fight on the docks? Who tipped you off? What a pleasure to do business with a man who knows how to smile. Oh, I was just lucky, I guess. You can't kid old Barney Bushkin, fella. How'd you do it? You know someone in the rackets? Got a friend on the force? No, honest. I was just passing by. Ah, uh, come on, baby. Don't hold out on old Bushy. You can tell me. I won't breathe it to a soul. There's nothing to tell. If you don't want the photos, course I want them, but tell me more about yourself. What kind of camera do you use? Where did you get your experience? I'll write you a letter. Phew, what a nosy guy. I'll take Jonah anytime. And speaking of the peerless publisher, we find him at his club, as smug and self-satisfied as ever. That was a great scoop in your paper, JJ. Imagine one of your own employees helping to capture and unmask the Crime Master. You must be very proud of Foswell, Jameson. Foswell? He was just a cog in the wheel. I was the master planner. The entire capture of the Crime Master took place under my personal direction. 
but my own natural modesty prevents me from bragging about it. However, it's too bad the Daily Globe managed to get those exclusive photos. A mere bagatelle. We could have had those pictures if we'd wanted them. But you know me, I prefer to run the story straight. No sensationalism. But when he's finally alone with the newspaper... I'd give my eye teeth for those pics. I'll be hanged if they don't look like Peter Parker's work. I hope he's not quitting on me. I'd better start buttering him up. I'll turn the famous Jonah Jameson charm on him. But now, back to our demon photographer. Aunt May is probably visiting Mrs. Watson next door. This is my chance to search for the costume she took from me. I'm sure she wouldn't throw it out. She could always use the material for something else. But a half hour later... Well, the old Peter Parker luck is still holding out. I can't find the costume anywhere. Which means I've got to do the one thing I hate the most in the whole wide world. Even the mere thought of it makes me break out in a cold sweat. And yet, there's no other way. I've got to do it. I'll have to sew myself a new one. Boy, if Flash Thompson could see me now. But minutes later... Aunt May, isn't this the night you usually spend with Mrs. Watson? Yes, Peter, dear. But she had another appointment tonight, so I just took a walk. Poor Aunt May. She always looked forward to those evenings with Mrs. Watson. Her life is such a lonely one. And I don't help much by spending my spare time prowling the city as Spider-Man. Well, I'll try to make up for it now. My new costume will just have to wait for some other time. I've got an idea, Aunt May. There's no school tomorrow and I've no homework. So how about coming to a movie with me now? Yo, you mean it, Peter? You really want to go with me? With my favorite aunt? You know it. Well, there is a movie I've been dying to see. It's a remake of an old favorite of mine. I'll be ready in just a moment, dear. My, I feel like a young girl going out on a date. And I'll buy you all the popcorn you can eat. So put on your prettiest hat and let's go. But before you start wondering if you're still reading Spider-Man, let's switch back to Frederick Foswell. The night shift is taking over now, so I guess I'll be leaving. I'm pretty lucky that no one has yet guessed my little secret. I've even managed to pull the wool completely over Spider-Man's eyes. And no one is apt to unmask me now. Anyone seeing me would think I'm merely taking a bundle of clothes to the laundry. Now, with the crime master dead, it's safe for me to return to my apartment. My little disguise has served me well, but I wonder if I'll ever have to wear it again. It would have been too dangerous for Frederick Foswell to mingle with the mobs, gaining information. But the underworld never guessed that the informer who betrayed them was the character known as Patch. Meanwhile, in another part of town, another man gazes at another disguise with burning hatred in his evil heart. Once again, my brilliant plans have been thwarted by Spider-Man. He has proven to be my greatest threat, my most dangerous enemy. I'll never rest till I've destroyed him. But I'll lay low for a while. I'll wait till he's convinced that I've given up my crime career. Till he's virtually forgotten about me. And then, when he least expects it, I'll strike. And what of the goblin's intended victim? Who would suspect that at this very moment, Spider-Man has just finished his third bag of popcorn? How did you like the movie, Aunt May? It was delightful, Peter dear. I simply adore a movie that makes me cry. Personally, I like a good slam-bang, drag-em-out action picture. But they're not good for you, Peter. You know how sensitive and high-strung you are. 
It isn't healthy for a boy like you to have too much excitement, even in a movie. How true, how true. And as the shades of night blanket the silent city, we leave you with this thought. Isn't there just a little of Peter Parker in all of us? The End Spider-Man.